Did you know that body water oxygen is the hidden key to good immunity? Think of your white blood cells like little soldier fish in a fishbowl, swimming around and fighting bugs, but breathing water. Now think of oxygen training like a bubbler in the fishbowl. Doesn't it seem like the soldiers in a well-oxygenated fishbowl would defend your body better? Now let's think about those brownout areas caused by that vascular inflammation. Each area is a clump of cells in a low energy state, downstream from a bottleneck blood supply, mostly hidden from your immune system. So if you were a disease, where would you hide? Those brownout areas create habitat for disease, so less habitat is less disease. And if you were living in a brownout area, wouldn't you and your buddies go out to play when the immune defenses got weak? Some first-time oxygen training users get a fever of 102 degrees about 48 hours after their first oxygen training session. This is an immune rally, and the fever tells that an increase in body water oxygen has energized their immune system and that the oxygen opened up their vascular system enough to dump pathogens hiding out in those brownout habitats and that there were enough of them to trigger a whole body cleanup. We also notice that those challenged users quickly recover the rest of the way with another oxygen training session. Have you ever noticed that people usually get seriously ill about two months after a bad stress event? It takes these two months for the combined loss of immune energy and brownouts to brew up the combination of bugs and weakened defenses that enable serious disease. So when you're in stress, doesn't oxygen seem like the best defense? And if you're ill, doesn't it seem like oxygen was probably what went wrong in the first place and the best place to start your recovery? Let's imagine your body's immune system is an army. Without oxygen, they're grunt soldiers with only one nineteenth of their maximum power. Now, let's imagine those same soldiers swimming around in a body water saturated with oxygen so that each soldier has up to 19 times more energy, like a ninja. So, which kind of army would you prefer? The first army would be like a mob of grunts attacking an infection, and would probably look like an autoimmune disorder, fighting forever but not succeeding. It would take about 19 of those soldiers to do the same job as only one of those ninjas.